Hi everyone, welcome to the Lead Code Bi-Weekly Contest 119. Um, if you didn't know, I haven't done a contest in a very long time because I was doing testing for Lead Code Contests. And then I started uni at the University of Cambridge, but it's uni holidays and I've stopped testing now. So I'm able to do this contest for the first time in almost a, almost a year. So I might be a bit rusty, but we'll give it a, my best shot. Uh, usual loading issues. I've forgotten about these. Um, the other thing is, I did try to redeem premium so I could submit faster, but Lead Code somehow like the store doesn't let doesn't process. Um, what I didn't register. I forgot to register. Oh, how do I not? Oh, that's a L. Oops, I forgot to register. It's been so long I've forgotten to do that. number of connected Can I not just do some brute force? Um, let's get the notes. Um, What is going on? I'm so rusty. Yeah, I'm very rusty, unfortunately. Um. I'm just going to run Floyd Warshall. Five seven two, five seven two. I'm just going to read some.
longest subarray with the frequency. Okay, I'm gonna do this first actually. Two, two, three. I'm just going to submit. I see. And I guess the frequency plus plus and well and well this is greater than k I guess six two four please AC AC Three four zero zero. What? Okay, so I solved all the problems, but I was so rusty, and also I forgot to register, which means I literally wasted like forty seconds at the beginning because I forgot to register. Anyway, that was quite embarrassing, but I don't know how I've done because the leaderboard isn't updated. But I'll go through the solutions. Oh, I didn't even need to do a set. The first one is just, the first question says, for each element in, count the number of elements in this list, which are in this list. And actually you can just do the naive lookup. Because the constraints are low, I don't actually use, I need to use sets. I, I could just like do this straight up, like directly implement what's in the question. Um, but I just did sets because that's the first thing I thought of. Um, sets gives us order one lookup instead of order n. So this is pretty straightforward. Okay, this question is... Um, I think there's similar questions already on lead code. But basically the idea is, if the first two characters are equal, or they're almost equal, then I'm going to have to change one of them. But of these first two, like, there's no point... Like, there's no point of me changing this first character to something else, because it's always better to change the second character. The reason being, if I change the first character, it could be that the second character conflicts with the third one. But, um, if I change the second character, I can choose it, I can change it to a character that definitely doesn't conflict with the first one or the third one. So the second one could p potentially, like, avoid the second and third ones being almost equal, whereas, so... Uh, 
Basically, I go from left to right, and if two characters are almost equal, I will modify the right one. And that's pretty much it. We kind of, Then we check these two. Like, now that we've modified the second one, we don't need to check the second and third ones, because we would have modified the second one. So we can skip this pair. Then we go to the next pair. Again, there's no point modifying the third element. We might as well modify the fourth, so, uh, so that it's not almost equal to the fifth one. Yeah, so that's pretty much the idea. You go greedily from left to right. And if you need to modify something, you'd modify the right, the, the right element. So my implementation, like, this is a nice trip, trick. You can, like, zip a word with, like, itself and the substring from this first index onwards. And this allows you to iterate over adjacent characters. And if the adjacent characters are almost equal, then I increment one to the counter and mark that I've modified the last element. And that way, if the previous element was modified, then I can just skip this skip this comparison. Um, this problem is a very straightforward two pointer, like yeah, this is just a two pointer algorithm. Uh, here, I iterate through all right indices, like the right the end boundaries of the subarrays, and this is a frequency array. So I increment the frequency array for the rightmost element, and whilst this like, at, when I increment this frequency, nums r is the only element that has a potential to have a frequency greater than k anyway, because this is the only element whose frequency is increased. And so I do, while the frequency of this element is too much, I will decrement the frequency of the leftmost index, like the character that the leftmost index is pointing to, and increment the leftmost index. And basically, this does... Um, like for a given right endpoint, it will find the earliest left endpoint of the subarray such that that subarray is valid or is good. And then I can get the size of the subarray and I keep a running max. This is fairly straightforward. I mean, it's the standard observation that if an, if a subarray is contained within a, a bigger subarray and the biggest subarray is good, then any subarray contained within it is also good. That's what makes the two-pointer works. This problem is actually very straightforward. It's just kind of do it. Because n is at most 10, there's only up to 2 to the power of 10 different subsets, which is 1024. So just for every subset, I just get the list of nodes. I find the distances between them. I'm using Floyd Warshall here. Okay, for each node, we check if it's like between two nodes which are in the current subset. And I'm using here, I'm using bit masks to iterate over subsets. And here I perform the Floyd Warshall. And then for each two nodes in in my current subset, um, if their distance is too far apart, then I set then then it then this subset isn't valid, and I just count the number of valid subsets. So the complexity here is just order two to the power of n times the number of roads, oh, times the number of roads plus n cubed. Like for 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 a given subset, like for a given subset, um, I have to iterate through all roads. I, so that's the length of the roads. And then I perform Floyd Warshall, which in the worst case is n cubed um, per subset. So in total, it's order 2 to the power of n times the above. Um, but because everything is fairly small, this works easily. Yeah, okay, let's check the rankings. Um, okay, so apparently the rankings aren't updated enough for me to know. Can I go lead co Is it liquid CN? Oh, oh, because like China's like leaderboard might not be merged with the US one, right? Something about that. Yeah, so someone finished in 726, which is faster than me, but you know what? I'll take it because I lost 30 seconds due to registration. So, oh well, it's good enough. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll hopefully be back for a couple more contests, but then when re uni restarts, I don't think I'll have time because it will be in a bad time zone for me. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.